Starbucks drinks. The two drinks that I'm making are the iced white chocolate mocha and then the iced caramel macchiato. They're gonna be in the, like the venti size. I'll show you the cups I'm using. These are the cups I'm using. They kind of are a venti size. They're like in the middle. They are 24 ounces. So I'm kind of just guessing when it comes to how much of each ingredient I put in. I will let you know though, cause because I do have my measuring cup for like how much milk I put in each drink. So that will be shown to you. If you're interested in trying to make these drinks yourself at home, keep watching the video. Let me know if you have any tips, tricks, and hacks that you came up with while making it, or if there's another Starbucks drink that you want me to try and make so that you can try it at home yourself. Okay, so in order to make your white chocolate mocha, you need some espresso. So the espresso machine I got is called Mr. Coffee, and I got it from Walmart, and it was like $40. So if I can find it, I will definitely link it into the description so that you can find it easily. Um, and it comes with this three for your espresso grounds. So there is a number. I don't know if you can see it in there. It says two and four, and that's based on the amount of shots you would like to make. So I'm going to make four since I'm making two drinks. And this is the espresso I am using. It's the Starbucks brand espresso roast. It's the dark roast. So that's what I'm using. I got that from Walmart as well. So I'm going to scoop and put it in here until it gets to the line that says number four. Um, you're supposed to make sure that it's even now, of course, but I patted it down once and it like didn't make my espresso because the water couldn't go through the, the ground. So try not to make it so hard and pat down. Um, just fill it to the line and then you can just shake it to even it out. Okay, so the next thing after your espresso grounds you need to have for your espresso is the water. This also has the numbers two and four on it. And I filled it up to the number four. Again, I'm making four espresso shots. Disclaimer or announcement. If you hear like running and like sneezing and playing in the background, it's my two dogs over there playing, so sorry. Anyways, so you fill it up to the four if that's how much coffee you're making. So the espresso and the water need to match, okay? I just put on this black lid and then we take the espresso which is up to the number four, and the water, which is up to the number four, and we go and put it into the espresso machine, which I'll show you. Okay, so this is the espresso machine that I bought from Walmart, Mr. Coffee. Again, it's $40. And the first thing you need to do when making espresso is you need to take off this lid. Ah. Uh, what I was saying before I spilled the espresso, which is stained, and I tried to cover it up with the machine, but yeah, so you need to take this lid off. And that hole right there, that's where the water will go. So I'm going to pour my water in. And it's always important to make sure you put this lid back on and put it on tight because twice now, I forgot to put the lid back on the top and it literally looks like it's smoking and about to catch on fire if you don't. So just make sure you put it on really tight. So after you put the water in the machine, you're gonna take your um, espresso cup circle thing, the thing with the uh, espresso in it, and you're gonna pop it up into here, all the way to the left, and then it locks and you turn it to the right. So it unlocks to the left and it locks to the right. Then this is empty, it should be empty because you put the water in the machine, so you put it just under there like that. Okay, so after you put the water on the top and close the lid, Put the espresso cup thing right here and locked it. And then you put the, I wish I knew the words, but this should be empty and it should be under it. And this part is gonna pour into here. You turn this knob to brew. And this light should turn on and it does take a couple of minutes to brew, but it's worth it. Excuse me, what are you doing? What is Iris doing, Bentley? Hmm? What is she doing? On my couch. That's okay. Okay, so right now the espresso is being oh. brewed. It's, it's being poured into that cup thing. Four shots total. 
So first we're making our iced chocolate white mocha. So we're gonna prepare the cup while the espresso is being made. So I always like to start making my iced chocolate white mocha with the white chocolate sauce and putting it all, like just a little bit like, I'll show you, like this much in the bottom, just like covering the bottom so there's no empty spot and then covering these sides because I just love chocolate, white chocolate white chocolate sauce. I like all chocolate. Okay. <laughs> and then I like to take the Starbucks flavored or Starbucks white chocolate mocha flavor creamer. It's creamer. They don't I, they don't use this in the store, but I don't know. It makes it sweeter and I'm a sweet coffee drinker, so I like to put that in there. About that much. I don't know if you can see, but this is how much white chocolate sauce I used, and then the top right here is the creamer. So it's about this much. Okay, so I just went and grabbed the espresso, and it's very hot, and we're making ice drinks, so it's kind of just sitting there to cool off right now. But I'm gonna cool it off when I put the milk in because the milk is cold, so, and my creamer is cold. So I'm mixing right now the white chocolate sauce that I put in in the bottom, and then the creamer that I already put in, so I'm mixing it together so that it's not like so separated. I'm gonna put this here, and I'm gonna put two shots of espresso in the bottom of my cup. Wow, that was like perfect. Okay, that was good, so I'm not gonna add any more. That was two shots. So this is what we have so far. We're gonna mix this together with a spoon again. And then just strip it on the counter. It's okay. Okay, so now that it's mixed, I'm going to add my milk. Okay, so now that I mixed the espresso, the white chocolate sauce, and the white chocolate creamer, I'm going to add my milk. You can use whatever milk you want. You can use almond, almond milk, you can use coconut milk, 2%, non-fat. This is 0% um, fat-free milk. Okay, so I'm going to first add just one cup, but I think it's gonna end up being like two cups or two and a half cups, but we're gonna see what this puts is at. Oh, maybe, maybe just one and a half cups of um, milk. So I'm gonna do one more half of a cup. Cause we have to leave room for ice as well. So this is a half cup. And so total of one and a half cups of milk. Okay, so this is where we're at. I'm gonna mix it. It's looking really light. I'm gonna try it real quick. Mm, no, it's really good. Oh my gosh, it's really good. Wow. That's good. So now that we have like the actual drink made, we need to add the ice. And here's how I add ice. I take my paper towel, ah, uh, terrible. And I like fold it until, and put like three layers, so like this. And then I like crack this and make them easy to come out. And then I slam it like that. And then all of them come out except this little bottom part. So and now they're on my napkin, so then I just fold it like a taco. Alright, so it comes out, but it's okay. And just put it in here. I'll just add these in there. Okay. And the last part is up to you guys if you like whipped cream and stuff like that, then you can always top it with it. I think it looks a lot better like that, except this side needs some more. And then I love to put the uh, white chocolate sauce on top. I mean, you need a straw. Now we test it. Mm. That is so good. I should open a shop. Just kidding, I literally just copied other people. But this is so good. Okay, so now that we made our ice white chocolate mocha, we're gonna make the caramel macchiato. I think this one's a lot easier. Well, they're both kind of easy, but I don't know, let's see. 
The caramel macchiato has a lot of milk. I got a nice caramel macchiato the other day from actual Starbucks and I watched her make it in my cup that I just got from Starbucks. She literally put milk and ice all the way up to like right here and then the rest was coffee. That's so much milk. But it's fine. So, of course to start we have to decorate the cup with caramel because it's a caramel macchiato so we have to do that. So we're gonna put a lot in the bottom. This one I'm not gonna put as much as the white chocolate mocha. I won't even cover the bottom honestly because if you're a caramel person, okay, put as much caramel as you want. But I don't like a ton of caramel. I like a little. So I'm just gonna put about like, I don't know if you can see it, but like that much and then decorate the sides. <laughs> because I think decorating, decorating the sides just makes it like so much more legit. So decorate your cup all pretty. Like that. And I looked it up in the app and for the ice cream macchiato, they use five pumps of vanilla syrup. Okay, so we're gonna put, I'll show you. I'm sorry, I'm not measuring. I'm kind of just guessing. I put about this much vanilla syrup in it. And then I am going to put the milk in next. This one I'll actually measure for you guys. So they use a lot of milk for the ice cream macchiato. So we're gonna do about one and a half cups to start. And again, that is how much we use for the white mocha. So it might be the same end up. Might end up being the same. So let's see, here's one and a half cups. I think it's gonna need another one. Well, another half at least. Yeah, we're gonna do another half cup. So two cups total. Okay. So here goes another half. Perfect. The next thing they do is, I'm pretty sure, I'm not positive, but I think they add the ice first and then they top it off with the coffee, which is why it's like coffee and milk. I'm, and it looks really pretty. But I think my ice is gonna melt and I don't remember how I did it the last time. So we're just gonna, I think that if you put the ice in it right now, then top it off with the espresso and because it's hot, if it melts the ice, just add a little more ice and it will be good. So we'll try that. So again, we're gonna crack it and slam it on this napkin so that it comes out. Okay, that was pretty good, pretty good, okay. And this is only if you have, if you don't have an ice maker in your fridge because I don't. So we use uh, ice trays. Let's put the ice in. I think I'm just gonna put it like that much. Okay. And finally, we make it beautiful by putting the espresso in. Watch this. You wanna pour it kind of slow. I kind of just dumped it in there real quick. And we didn't leave room for, um, but that's okay. Here's what I want to do. Oh! So it's really high. And I'm not going to mix it because it takes away from the, um, like the, the, the look of it, you know? It's supposed to look like this. So I'm just going to try and push some of the espresso in there. And we're going to add the rest of the ice. I did have to dump some out because it was so full, so maybe not so much milk. I don't know. That was two cups of milk, so maybe just stick with one and a half. It just depends on what, what size cup you have. This just needs like a little more ice, so that should do it. Okay, so now we have that, and then again, we're just going to top it off with our whipped cream. Beautiful. And for this one, I'm gonna do caramel and white mocha because I love white mocha, but this is a caramel macchiato, I have to. And they go back and forth, and then they do like the checker pattern, and then they do circles. I know that from YouTube. I learned from YouTube. You can literally learn anything from YouTube. So, that's how I win. I'm also gonna put some of this on there. And I missed the cup. <laughs> Just a little. Okay, so now it's time to test it. Mm. 
it's really good. At first I was like, I don't know, I don't know what I was seeing at first, but that's really good. I think if you stick your straw all the way down and just drink milk, it's not that good. And if you drink just the top part, which is just espresso, that's definitely good. Yeah, like that. Oh, but if you put like your straw like right in the middle, that's where it is. Obviously, you don't want to have to think about where you put your straw when you drink your drink, but you can like mix it. It's just for like the look, so it looks good. Okay guys, if you made it this far in the video, that means you watched how to make this white chocolate mocha and this ice caramel macchiato. They are so good. Mm. Yeah, if I had to pick, I think I would pick the white chocolate mocha. This is my go-to drink. I don't know, anywhere I go, I just have to get the white chocolate mocha. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comment section. Let me know any other drinks you want me to try. I'll show you, I'll make a video on it. And let me know if you guys try these drinks at home and if it works out for you guys. And if you have any tips, hacks, tricks. I know this is another thing. I don't have the white chocolate syrup that Starbucks uses. I have just this. So this is what I'm using. And I'm using the creamer, which I don't think they use this either. I think this is for like maybe like hot white chocolate and not ice. But um, so that's one thing you can try different. If you want to try to get the actual uh, white chocolate syrup that they use. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave me a like if you did. And also a comment if you have anything to say. And yeah, I'll see you next time. So I already kind of did like a goodbye to this video. But I also wanted to say that um, look forward to an Ipsy bag reveal. I've never had an Ipsy bag, so I'm so excited for it to get here. And I'm going to like open it on camera so you guys can see my reaction for the first time and then show you guys what I got. So I was thinking about doing like a babe cave um, tour. It's like my vanity and like my my clothes. And... Oh, and also maybe like a scrunchie picks my outfit because I saw um, Sydney Serena or Serena do it. And she just drew in like a bucket and like picked one and then I would have to match my clothes to this color. Good thing I'm not actually doing it because I don't have any clothes that match that color, so yeah. So I do have some ideas coming out for videos. If you guys would like to see them, make sure you comment down below. Like this video if you enjoyed watching, and I will see you next time.